Welcome to the Sizing Your Beans video tutorial. The Peekaboo Beans size chart can be found in the back of the catalog or on the Peekaboo Beans website under the Beans tab. This chart outlines the best sizing options for your child's measurements. These measurements are not the measurements of the clothing, but are the body measurements to guide you to the right size. The measurements you will need to take to best fit your bean are their height, chest, waist, hip, and inseam. When measuring your bean, it's best that they be in fitted clothing or underwear without shoes. Now I will show you how to properly measure your bean. All right, so Ethan has graciously volunteered to be measured for us today. Um, we're gonna start with the height, which is measured from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet, just like this. And then we're going to measure his chest which is just right under the armpit and across the chest. And then we're going to do the waist, which is at the natural bend of the waist. So if Ethan, if you'll just bend to one side for me to find that measurement. It's usually at the belly button, but sometimes a bit higher depending. And then we're going to do the hip, which is at the widest point around. And then we're going to do the inseam which is from the crotch down to the floor on the inner leg. And that'll be your inseam measurement on your pants. So it's important when measuring to make sure your measuring tape is flat so that you get the most accurate measuring tape. So this is Lily. She's going to help us today as one of our models. So to measure the height, this is easier to do against a wall as well if your kid's a bit taller but from the top of the head to the floor, just straight up and down. Chest is just under the armpits. And straight across. Hit our waist is at the natural waist, so if Lily just bends a little bit, it's easiest to find it, and then she can straighten out so we can get a perfect measurement there. And then hip is across the widest point. And then inseam is from the crotch down to the floor. And that's how you measure. Your child might easily fall into the size range. However, this isn't always the case. For example, Ethan's height is 45 and a half, so he's falling into the size 6 for height. His chest is 22 and a half. We would suggest he move into a size 5, seeing as how he's in between the size 4 and 5 in his chest measurement. His waist is 21 and a half, which is falling in a size 4. His hip is 25, which is falling in between a 5 and 6. And his inseam is 19, which would be in between a 5 and a 6 as well. We would suggest for pants that he sizes up in regards to his inseam and would then wear a size 6. For pants, the most important measurements to follow are the hip and inseam. And for tops, the most important measurement to follow is the chest. So for example, if the waist is landing like for Ethan in a size 4, you would still move into the size 6 pants as the hip and inseam would be the most sensitive areas for his sizing. For Lily, her height is measuring 50, her chest is measuring 24 and a half, her waist is measuring 23, her inseam is measuring 25, and her hip is measuring 28. For pants, we would then suggest that she would be wearing a CC size 8. She could also fit into a Peekaboo Beans size 8, but there wouldn't be much room for growth. In the chest, she's measuring 24 and a half. So in tops, we would recommend her purchasing either a size 6 top or a size 7, which would give her room to grow. 